welcome Gemini, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, and Cross Watchers to your general love reading. This is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind, and check out your other planetary placements for additional insights and guidance. And make sure you smash that like button and also share my videos. Feel free to leave a comment below how this resonated. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and, and that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos and every time I do giveaways. I'm keeping that. Okay. And um, I'm, my next giveaway is going to be my birthday giveaway. I'm going to give away three prizes. One of them is going to be a free reading. And I haven't decided for sure on the other two, but how it's going to work that you send an re me email message to readings at mysticgen.com. I will announce the winners on my birthday on January 12th. And um, there'll be first place, second place, and third place winners. And you'll have your choice of prizes. Uh, first place gets their first choice, then second place gets a choice, and then third place gets the last choice. Okay, so you definitely want to be subscribed. You definitely want that notification bell. And um, so and so I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading now. Um, we're going to get the general energies. Then I'm going to do your oracle spread and then I'm going to do the tarot spread. Okay. These are the two cards that I am feeling. Let's see what they are. Okay, we have the two of wands and we have the ten of wands. Wow, somebody is definitely in the threshold. They have their world in their hands. They're looking at their options and their decisions. Definitely at a crossroads. We have water in the background here. Um, this is the Moonchild Tarot. This is a new deck of mine I got maybe a month ago, and I've only used it a couple times. But anyhow, I'm feeling this. There is an, an emotional, passionate decision that is being made. You're at this crossroads because you're, you're burdened down. You're carrying a load. You may be carrying the weight of a relationship or a connection or situation on your shoulders here. And you are stuck at this crossroads, not sure what direction or which way to move forward. Okay, um, so we'll go, go see what else comes up here. Messages, guidance, clarity, please, for Gemini, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Cross Watchers. Messages, guidance, clarity. For Gemini, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Cross Watchers. Gemini, please. What messages do you have for Gemini? Gemini. We've got fire. Let go of emotional upheavals. I was just talking about something emotional here. And embrace the renewal of the present. So there's some... It's like I feel like you're at this crossroads and you're... You're about to go on a new path. And the universe is saying you need to let go of that emotional upheaval. Patience. Slow down. Change your attitude. And clear your mind. Wow. Powerful messages here for you. Absolutely. You know, the, the your guides are telling you. The universe is telling you that you need to let go. Of the emotional BS. Let go of the strife. Let go of the conflict. Drop those wands. Drop that burden. Drop those responsibilities. You don't need to carry it all. And this and be patient with yourself. Slow down. Breathe. Okay? Because you know, I I feel this highly emotionally charged scenario or situation going on here. And Universe says you need to slow down and breathe and let go. Clarity messages and guidance, please, for Gemini. Okay, we have action. And fifth chakra, throat. Okay, this is somebody speaking their truth. And I feel as though you want to take action on this. You want to make a move of some sort. But you need to slow down and think things through. You need to... Think about your wording. Think about your communications, how you're going to communicate this. 
across because there's already burdens here. Okay. I feel like that you may be taking action and speaking your truth, but you have to be patient with yourself. Slow down with your decision making because your mind is racing right now. You need to calm yourself before you take action. Uncovering, uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. So, you know, between underneath the surface of it all, when you release the negativity, you're going to uncover some hidden treasure there. Solitude. And within solitude. There you go. This is like, I said, like taking your time, slowing down, um, really breathing in before you act. We don't want to do any hasty actions here, but I do, but you do need to speak up if that makes sense. Okay. You don't have to take somebody's BS, but silence it in silence. Peace prevails. So this may be silencing your voice, taking, not acting out of emotions, but silencing your voice here, being patient and really thinking things through first. That's what I'm getting. Clarity messages and guidance, please, for Gemini. Clarity messages, guidance for Gemini, please. Clarity messages, guidance for Gemini. Beginnings. Okay. You know, there's that world of darkness all around you, which is symbolizing symbolized with the ten of wands and but there's this bright greenery here it's like some kind of brand new beginning about to happen for you that's a hidden treasure purity snowy moon winter time you know snowfall i feel this cleansing and purity it's like with pure with a pure heart you start a new beginning <clears throat> messages clarity and guidance please for gemini messages clarity guidance for gemini clarity messages guidance for gemini man that glass table underneath is like loud clarity messages guidance for gemini clarity messages and guidance for gemini please The golem, a close friend acts on your behalf. So, you know, you might have a close friend lending an ear or a close friend trying to help you out of a situation. The dragon, strength and wisdom. Or they may be offer. There might, I feel as though there is a close friend of yours that is going to offer some kind of guidance, assistance, that is going to try to lift you up and strengthen you here. So, I feel like... Through your patience, silencing your voice for now, not taking any drastic actions because a friend is going to help you out, give you some wisdom, some wise advice on how to proceed forward in your decision making because you're, you're basing everything on emotions instead of logic and practicality, okay? And there is this new beginning opening up, this new door. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to clear the board and bring out the tarot. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please. For Gemini, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, Crosswalkers. Cars just want to jump. <clears throat> Clarity, messages, Guidance for Gemini, please. Clarence. Clarence. I did this on another video. I think it might have been the last series or might have been one of the dailies. Saying clearance. You know, that's clearing out that negative energy. Clarity. Guidance. Messages for Gemini. Clarity. Messages. Guidance for Gemini. Clarity. Messages. Guidance for for Gemini.
Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Hermit, um, Virgo energy. Three of Cups, Taurus had that in that same exact position. King of Wands. King of Wands might have options. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Qu Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Moon, Pisces energy. The Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. Temperance, Sagittarius. You've got a lot of major arcana cards here already and th this is a major change for you the world card capricorn energy wow i can't believe all these major arcanas is coming out chariot well um the chariots cancerian energy wow the hierophant taurus energy you got strong taurus in here you got strong cancer um, and the Wheel of Fortune. Holy crap. Holy crap. And the Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. So you got, a, you got strong Piscean energy, strong Taurus energy, strong Sagittarian energy. Wow. Okay. What do we have here? First of all, I want to make a note here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three quarters, or two thirds rather, two thirds of this spread is major arcana. That is rare. That is saying this is a huge huge life change symbolized by the world card here uh, uh, you know some people might say turning a page or closing a chapter this is more than just closing a chapter of a book this is writing the end and starting a whole new book i'm telling you this is huge gemini and you know there is this, a lot of sense of self-reflection here. There is this solitude. Solitude came out in the Oracle spread. You know, solitude, take a time to yourself in order to find that balance and that healing and rediscovering yourself, your value, your, your self-worth, finding that abundance again, nurturing self. That is what this is. This is nurturing yourself after some major upheaval, okay, and there might have been a third party involved, King of Wands, he's very passionate, he's um, very sexual, sensual, um, and you know what, that might have gotten to the best of him, he may have, he or she, it's an energy, the tarot really knows no um, gender here. So, however it resonates, but he is looking at this third party, these females that are celebrating, enjoying, out drinking, having a fun time. He may have caught, got himself caught up in a web, in a third party that got out of control. Meanwhile, you're sitting back while this is happening. And, you know, and you, you are carrying the burden of this relationship. And you found yourself at a crossroads, just like, what do I do now? I know nothing else. But this is cl closing that book, writing the end, taking control. You are taking control now. You are going to be in the, you are in the driver's seat. And you are moving forward to finding your own abundance. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is sim very similar to Empress Energy here. Finding your abundance, finding your value, being very nurturing. And turning your back on the deception. I'm seeing deception in the moon card. Deception in a committed relationship that 
fate is now in destiny. This might have been destiny in order for you to find your value and your worth. I am being shown this image of you devaluing yourself with this king of wands here that this may have all had to happen in order for you to find your value and your worth. Okay, for you to finally put value on yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, dear Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, clarify the cards on the board here for Gemini. Clarify the cards on the board. Okay, Page of Cups with uh, Three of Pentacles. You know, this is a dis an emotional discovery about a third party. You know, your person was cooperating with somebody else, may have been giving to somebody else and leaving you deprived here. Lover's card with the Hermit. So you had to retreat within. You felt that this was a soulmate connection here. But at the same time, you really needed to... Um, you really need to find some perspective. This is similar energy to the crossroads, an emotional crossroads, a decision in a relationship here, six of wands that needed that this, this had to happen. This is making the decision that is going to lead you towards success, success in finding your own abundance, finding your self-worth and your value, finally putting value on yourself. High priestess with the temperance card, you know, this is bringing about balance. I feel the high priestess is talking about balance here. Balance in the situation where there were secrets being kept. And I think that those secrets threw you off balance here. Because we have two cards here about talking about secrets with the moon and the high priestess. And yet another major arcana, two more major arcana cards. This is incredible here. I swear the whole major arcana. This feels like the, a journey that you had to go through. And I feel like this is trusting your intuition as you move forward, and I think you're moving going forward cautiously to allow healing to take place. We've got the Emperor. So we got the Empress and the Emperor on the board, a true match, okay? A true powerful match. And I feel as though that somebody took a vet, and here the Emperor may have taken advantage of his own power. This King of Wands is having similar energy as the Emperor. And you know how I said that somebody may have devour, devalued you brought you down you were the empress in disguise and you were unaware of it you were at a place of you didn't recognize the empress within you and this emperor towered over you and i think that this all happened to a cups yeah this this was a soulmate connection you and your person it was a divine connection but as myself and a lot of other readers will tell you that we are not meant to spend our life with every soulmate we have several of them that there are certain soulmates certain people that come into our life that teach us lessons and I feel like that they were a lesson here we've got the ten of wands again repeated here with the world card you know this is your t laying down your burdens closing that book writing a new book a brand new life here. King of Cups here. You know, you may have a, a, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You may have somebody new, somebody who's very loving. You, this is about moving forward, taking control. And it's funny, we have, this is a card of Cancer and this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you may be dealing with a Cancer or have a Cancer coming into your life. The universe could be bringing a, uh, a, a true match to you here but this is somebody coming in who's very loving very nurturing and who is truly emotionally available who is like the polar opposite of the emperor okay we have the eight of pentacles with the queen of um pentacles this is putting value and work in yourself um overcoming obstacles to a sword you know you the truth was hidden from you for so long, but I now think the blindfold has been taken off, and which led you to a heart, a, a head over heart decision here, and two of pentacles. You know, you're, you you know this person was balancing two people. I hate to say it, but that's what I get. Two extra people within this committed relationship. 
somebody in a commitment was balancing two. And they were trying to go back and forth. Who am I going to choose? Which one? I know I can't stay in both relationships. Now, I think the choice is being made for them. We got a lot of twos in this reading. Duality. Choices. Decisions. Two people. Two ch so. And then we have the Queen of Cups. With the Wheel of Fortune. There you go. So we have two sets here. Two true... Um, matches on the board and one of them is a power struggle while the other one is a very loving tender connection nine of pentacles pre empress energy you know this might be where you're at now but you're leading into the empress energy you're finding yourself you're finding your value abundance is coming to you and i think that this emperor held you down below emperor status um judgment you know Hearing the call, waking up. I think you're waking up to this. And you're moving into your Empress energy and moving towards your happiness. Yeah, I keep seeing this. This truth. Yeah, we have all kinds of new beginnings here with the Ace and seeing your truth, speaking your truth. You know, we had that um, card in the um, Oracle about speaking your truth, about using your voice, moving forward. Moving, leaving the pain behind towards your Ten of Cups, waking up to the situation, and moving towards your happiness, your dreams, your wish, and a very loving connection. Okay, this is what I have for you, Gemini. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you next time. Blessed be.